Good morning from Kotal. This uh, morning I'm gonna go get breakfast. I need to go pay for my scooter again and then I'm gonna figure out where the abandoned resort is. I'm gonna try to make it there. I kinda know the general area, but I really don't know. So it's gonna be pretty interesting trying to figure After, out. After uh, asking three or, three or four people, they had no idea what I was talking about, but I did find a few articles on it on Google and I believe it is right there. I'm not 100% positive, I'm way down here but I believe it's right there, so. Well, I have been trying to even find the road to go to the abandoned resort for the last probably hour and a half. Thought I was on it, figured out it was the wrong road. So now we are, we are heading back to our bikes and uh, we're gonna go find the right road. a water here carved probably it's probably at least a hundred foot across just valley with just boulders in it this is this is incredible we uh, just made it to the resort and uh, we're, we're and we're debating on staying the night here it seems pretty uh, nice it has no running water but we got an ocean full of water so it should be good The good thing is, is whoever's been staying here is not going to drown. Somebody set up a bed, and I guess people do come camping here. forget about the debate should I wear sandals or shoes to go here you should definitely wear shoes and then you should use the complimentary sandals that are provided this is this is a nice resort I uh, believe that this is a nicer suite since the floor kind of has a purple marble to it and uh, it's the room's a little bigger 
and the view is very nice. So all of these rooms that are beachfront, they all had air conditioners in them. And here's the view. But all these uh, rooms over here that were not beachfront, they were all fan uh, rooms, which typically are, I don't know, uh, they're typically about $15 uh, less. Well, that concludes the abandoned resort. Now for the two mile trek back. Just so everybody knows, I do not carry this gear bag all over Thailand to get strong. I do it for you. Oh, we made it back and we survived four miles of hiking of roads that were basically non-existent. Well, that is all for today. It's still light outside again. But uh, I'm, I just got back from that hike and we walked a long ways and uh, I'm gonna get in the shower, clean up and go to dinner. So good night. For anybody planning on coming here in the future, you can uh, leave your fishing gear at home. Somebody has already left you guys just a little bit. So whoever that is, you should probably write them a thank you letter and you just leave it at home.